about the Northeast area since I was uh, about nine, ten years old. Uh, my concern with Figueroa Street is unlike um, Colorado Boulevard and New Rock Boulevard, which are fairly wide streets, and we hear the concern about Colorado having three traffic lanes down to two, I don't think that would be a problem. Figueroa, on the other hand, to convert to one lane becomes a real problem because there's just too much traffic volume on there. We've heard people talking about the truck traffic tearing up the street. Unfortunately, that's a necessary evil since the um, freeway through the area has been banned to, high, to large trucks since it was built. So this is the only truck route that goes up the Arroyo Seco. Um, proposal would be an alternative route. And this route would essentially start at uh, Figueroa on Marmion. It would go left on Marmion, up Marmion to Monte Vista, up Monte Vista to Avenue 50, then along Marmion Way. Now, Marmion Way is a very slow corridor for traffic. The only people who really need to be on it are the ones that have to get to their driveways, things of this sort. Uh, 15 mile per hour speed limit. It has signals at each intersection because of the uh, tracks that are there. Uh, it would work quite well. Um, and we thought about Monte Vista, but Monte Vista is just so narrow, it would probably be problematic. Uh, you'd have to take away of some tra parking, which is really not a good idea in that neighborhood. Um, then up Avenue 59 to Piedmont. Piedmont is a very wide street, very little used street. Um, along Piedmont, back at Figueroa Street, install a signal at Piedmont and Figueroa, something that's been needed for years. And go up Figueroa to York. Turn right on York, or if you're going south, the opposite direction, obviously, uh, to Avenue 64. Now, I'm glad we have a commissioner from, from Pasadena here, because I realize 64 is partly in the city of Pasadena, a good chunk of it. But 64 is about the same width as Figueroa Street, yet it is one lane, most of it, and could be converted to one lane for the rest of it very easily. Uh, the route on Colorado ends at 64. That makes sense then to tie in with Avenue 64 for the route, and this way we avoid the problems that we would have on Figueroa Street by constricting it down to one lane each way. Thank you. Hi, my name is Michael Gardiel, and uh, I've lived in Northeast LA most all my life. I've uh, become an avid cyclist, and uh, I ride in the area frequently. I commute my bicycle, and uh, I want to ride my children to school on my bicycle. Um, and as it was mentioned earlier, there's several schools, actually 11 public and private schools along the, um, the Figueroa Corridor, and one of them is the one I'm considering. I am uh, taking my children to, and I was, I'm hoping they'll ride on their own in the future, but I want to feel safe for them to do that. And one way I would like to propose is to consider protected bike lanes, which hasn't really been discussed today, but all that requires is, well, first of all, you don't lose any parking, you just move it over, and it becomes more like Amsterdam, where you've got the sidewalk, and then you've got an area to ride uh, that's elevated from the, the street. Uh, I guarantee you, if you do that, you're going to have a lot more people riding bikes. And if you're going to have more people riding bikes, they're going to frequent the businesses. I'd go to get meat from you, John, and, and uh, if, if, if things were more like that, you know, uh, I, I just uh, am afraid to take my kids to the grocery store on a bike um, unless there's more traffic calming and uh, more uh, better bike lane system than, you know, what we're considering. Something, something that will be really sexy that will bring more people onto the streets. Uh -huh.